Hello there, in today's video we are going to talk about the fact, you know, the Manchester United match preview versus Wolves. So this is a, you know, this is a game where, this is the video we are going to, we are going to talk about, the, you know, the match preview and the main, you know, instances of the match. The Reds go into the game on the back of 3-1 victory over Burnley at the Old Trafford midweek while the visitors drew nil-nil with Chelsea at, you know, Molinex on December 19th. Cristiano Ronaldo is widely expected to once again lead the attack with Bruno Fernandes could be set for a return to the starting eleven to face Wolves after missing the match against Burnley. Currently sitting four points of the Champions League position with the two games in hand, the Reds find themselves in a good position going into 2022 with the latest stages of the UEFA Champions League to come in the FA third round on the horizon. There are reasons to be optimistic but beating Wolves would be the perfect way to start the new year because right now Wolves are in good form, let's admit it. Wolves have had a promising season thus far under Bruno leg and find themselves sitting just six points united in the Premier League table. At Molinex, Wolves can be more than a match for anyone, but away from home, they do not hold the same threat and this is a game United will undoubtedly go into as the favourites. Adam Traore will be their biggest threat. Beating Wolves and taking three points would be the perfect way for the Reds to start a new year and would put the club in a good st steady for the coming games ahead and lift optimism among the Reds faithful that United will still make the season a successful one. So they will face Wolves and you know it will still make the season a successful one, it will give them you know ambition, hope and you know will definitely um, give them new ambition, new hope and you know new you know impetus. You know and uh, can Manchester United start 2022 with their most convincing display yet under Ralph Raniak when Wolves visit? Thursday's victory over Burnley was the best performance under the interim manager but still lacked a compelling rhythm that allowed United to govern the contest and it suggested the structural stability to the German years for is yet to form. This is what I have a problem with, okay. I mean he's just been here for a few matches and we act like you know we have to play like you know Prime United under Sir Alex Ferguson. Okay. We've lost We've lost one at Old Trafford in the league in February 1980. How they would love to break this sequence. So that's how Wolves, Wolves had last won. So the game will be you know, aired at 5.30 p.m. in Sky Sports Premier League. Venue will be Old Trafford. And you know, referee will be Mike Dean this season, you know. And the Manchester United team, you know, the substitutions will be Heaton, Henderson, Sh Shorte, Mata, Hannibal. Menji, Lingard, Elenga, Marshall, Jones, Dalot, Lindelof, Rashford, Van der Veek, Bailey, Greenwood. Doubtful Lindelof. I mean, since Lindelof went through that bad injury, his fitness is at, very, at a very low level and it's highly doubtful if, you know, he will come back. Because his fitness is currently in a, in a very bad condition. I mean, we can't say, you know, his fitness is quite bad. And the leading goal scorer of our team is currently Ronaldo who will be starting it with Cavani and Bruno Fernandes to back them up. I mean in Wolves we have substitutions Rudy, Molden, Kandl, Hover, Traore, Dan Dockner, Campbell, Silva, Silva you know is currently suffering from some health issues and let's hope he gets well soon. Players who are injured are you know are Naori, Groen, Mosquera, Johnny, Neto, Ni Unknown, Bali, calf unknown, suspended, non-disciplined, you know, form, leading goal scorer. So yeah, that's one of the, you know, the one of the reasons, you know, that's one of the issues and the reasons that's going through. And yeah, that's, that's a very, you know, that's a, that's a very, very, you know, that's a very, very good, you know. That will be a very big plus point for us if we can, you know, win a match against Wolves. Win, you know, win against a match against, you know, Wolves. That will be a fantastic. You know, that will be a fantastic, you know, plus point for us. I mean, you know, that'll be a perfect, perfect, you know, perfect start for the new year. Beating Wolves, you know, at least step by step. The bare minimum, you know, when we do the bare minimum, that would be a perfect start for us, you know. Because Ralph Raniak has just taken over, it has been a very short time 
since Ralph Raniak has taken over. So since it has been this short time, you know, this would be a very, very, you know, a very, very uh, good response for us to get a win and get back on track. So yeah, that's something, you know, that would definitely, you know, provide us with a big impetus. I mean, with such a strong, you know, and Arsenal is also playing well, you know, we have made enough fun of them, not anymore. They mean business now. The way they played against City, that was quite, you know, quite scary. They're in good form. If they, if they can keep up this form, you know, it will be a very, very tough fight to the top four. If Arsenal can keep up this form, and we have to play much, much better. I mean, we lost some very easy points against teams like Everton, Watford, you know, and you know, several others where we drew for no reason, you know, and we could have won the game against Chelsea quite easily, you know, we drew that. And that's how we lost some very easy points. So we shouldn't have done that, you know, that is something we shouldn't have done, but we did do that, you know, there's no, no good lamenting it now, remorsing it now, you know, there's no good, you know, crying about it right now, but we shouldn't have done that. We should have won that match. So what do I think will be the formation against Wolves? The formation against Wolves will be the same, you know, 4-2-2-2-2. Four, four, two, 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 two. That will be the same formation against Wolves. So, you know, and uh, I think, you know, if they improve their performance, I mean, against Burnley, we did see a good performance of the team United. We saw, saw them performing good. We saw them performing at a good speed, at a good high rate, you know, at a at a good pace, you know, that was impressive. But we need to improve much, much more. And I think the main problem with United lies in the midfield of our team right now. I think we have a very good attack, we are stacked with attack, but the midfield of Manchester United is very, 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 very weak. And due to this extremely weak midfield, we are not able being able to compete with you know other teams. Even some weak teams uh, like Watford, who are absolutely relegated, are coming in and, and giving us the hard time of our lives. If we have a motivated midfield, a good CDM, I think that would you know just change the entire dynamics of the game entirely. So according to me, you know, just a victory against Wolves, it will be a first step. The next step would be to get a good CDM because that is the solution. That is the only solution. So in today's video and my prediction for the game is Manchester United maybe is going to win, you know, 2-0 against Wolves. They might score more, I don't know, but definitely they'll win 2-win. They'll win win. That's my prediction. And let's see what happens. And for more transfer news and views, you know, wait until then. Take care.